Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike back out to Fency's Flea Market, of course, for one reason and one reason only, Pam. Pam's, the, the video game movie dome. We've got to check it out, see what they have. I don't know if she has anything on hold for me this week. She she might. I, I don't day. know. You have something on hold? Okay, she, maybe she got some new stuff in. You never know when it comes to the video game movie dome. I'm thinking though, we're probably going to find some cool stuff. I, of course, have an entire gigantic tub here of, of more st more stuff to trade in. I think I have like one more tub left and then all my trade-ins are, are done. And then I'm gonna go through all my trade-in store credit and I'm, I'm gonna have to start actually spending cash in the video game movie dome, but I'm okay with that. So anyway, all right, let's, let's take all this inside, make Pam go, unfortunately, through all this and then um, I'm gonna pick up some cool stuff. All right, the movies are dropped off. So of course, you know what we have to do. John! You, John, John's here and Pamela, of course. So uh, what's on my hat? I got stuff like all over me. I've, I've been picking off like fuzzies and all kinds of weird stuff off me ever since we got back from the uh, the flea market. So anyway, Pam's gonna go through all my stuff. I think she had, do you have anything on hold for me? Like a yes. couple a couple things? Oh, I, I I know what one of those are. If you have a couple things on hold for, hold for me, it's, it's gonna be a mystery. I don't, I don't even know what, what those are. But anyway, so she got some new stuff in as well. So all right, we're gonna, we're gonna dig through the new stuff. And then, um. I'm curious to see what my like mystery titles are. All right, so my day has just officially been made thanks to uh, Pamela because she picked up some awesome stuff for me. So she had Weird Science on hold, which I have like within a set that I need to replace. So that's awesome to have a standalone copy of that. And then she also found me a copy of uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore. Unfortunately, without Johnny Depp. Is it really a Fantastic Beast movie without Johnny Depp? I don't know. I, I know, I agree, I kind of agree, but I got the other ones. I, I do actually really want to see this. So awesome 4K release of that that I'm picking up, and I'm probably going to watch that one tonight. And then, like, drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, oh. All of a sudden, I, I feel like I'm Clark Griswold about to, to, to flip on the light switch. So, um, yeah, she found me a copy of Weird US Volume 2. I've been looking for a copy of this for the longest time. I have, I have Volume 1. I have volume three. I did not have volume two. Why History Channel just didn't do a complete series release? I have no idea since it only ever lasted one season, which that in and of itself is stupid. This was one of the most amazing shows ever of just roadside attractions and weird roadside oddities. It is such a great series and uh, I needed volume two. So that is amazing. I mean, this stuff here is cool. This here is like the greatest thing ever. Thank you, Pam. That's weird. Shut up. Uh... So I've gone through all the uh, new movies here, and the only thing I'm really seeing is this, The Towering Inferno, which of course I already own, but I have it on DVD, and actually I have it on DVD within a set, so this would be both an upgrade for um, having it individually and having it on Blu-ray. And of course I love this film, it's a classic. It's also brand new factory sealed, so all right, for I'd say $5, but $5 to store credit, I'm gonna pick that up too, and I'm gonna look around some more. Here's some other new stuff Pam just got in, and as you can see, it's a whole bunch of Blu-rays, which is pretty cool, and I was hoping maybe possibly something in here I needed to pick up to replace a, I don't know, a, a DVD or replace a set or something like that, but I, I don't see anything I think I need. I'm pretty sure anything in here I actually want for my collection, I already have on Blu-ray within my collection, I, although I do think I need, like, I think I need Cinderella Man or something like that on Blu-ray, but I don't want it in the set. I want it by itself, so I'm going to end up passing on that end. Again, I think everything else in here I already have. I, I mean, they had a Criterion, which is awesome, but it's the Curious Case of Benjamin Button, which of course I, I do already own. Although, do I have it like with the with the slip cover? Ooh, I don't know if my copy has a slip cover or not. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. I, I might actually need the slip on that one. But um, as far as everything else is concerned, I, it's stuff I, I already own. All right, well, Pam's just being super nice today. Not only finding me amazing things I need, but um, she's like, you can just have the slip cover, so. All right, I'm gonna pick that up. I, I well, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm just, I'm just gonna take it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's awesome. So, anyway, so much more stuff to go through. Although I don't feel nearly as bad as Pam because she's still going through all my stuff. So in the case here, Pam of course has all kinds of awesome 4Ks and newer stuff she got in, including Candyman. The I believe is that Scream Factory I think release of Candyman there for twelve dollars on Blu-ray. I only have Candyman on DVD. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Candyman franchise. I don't dislike the Candyman franchise, but I'm not like super into it. They're, they're films I go back to every so often, but um, I mean, upgrading a, a, a classic horror title for, well, for free or whatever, for store credit, I'm thinking, thinking I need that. All right, yeah, I am definitely picking up uh, the Candyman here because what I did not realize is this actually has both a theatrical cut and the unrated cut. 
That is cool. I believe I only have the um, theatrical cut within my collection. So this is definitely an upgrade. Again, put out by Screen Factory. Also has really cool reversible artwork, which I really dig. So that is so neat. Yeah, I was I was kind of on the fence with this, but as soon as I saw it had the uh, unrated and theatrical cuts, I, I knew I was gonna be picking this one up. Okay, so uh, we're over here now in the uh, quote-unquote new uh, new wing of the video game movie dome, which is just loaded with all kinds of movies. And I had to go through the uh, the case here to see what Pamela got in, and there's not really much here in the way of anything I need. Maybe, though, with the exception of this, the Bob Hope 10 Movie Comedy Collection. This is pretty awesome. I, I have some of these movies, but I don't have all of these movies, or at least not all like within a nice set like this. And I know what you're going to say. Well, aren't you trying to get rid of sets? Yes, but at least this can all just go under B in in comedy, so that that kind of works for me. I, I think I I want this. Plus, these aren't all movies that I'm like dying to have within my collection. There's a couple of these I definitely want, and some of them I don't want. So it's nice to have like the ones I don't want. In what I'm basically just trying to add more movies to my collection that I don't actually technically want. That's what it, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. That's some that's one of the nice things about box sets. Sometimes you're like I want to beef up my collection, but I don't don't necessarily want all these movies. I'll just buy the Bob Hope collection and. Then I got the movies I want, plus the movies I don't want in a nice slim case. I know, I've got problems. Now I'm gonna pick this up. And the gifts just keep on coming from Pamela. So she just pulled this out. Uh, I guess she just got in Night Train to Munich, the uh, Criterion Collection release number 523. I don't have this one in my collection yet. And yeah, I don't I don't know. Should I just say I'm going for a complete Criterion Collection release at this point? Because I guess I, yes, I should say, I guess I kind of am at this point. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm. I mean, I'm not like really trying to hunt them down to the point where I'm going to be spending a lot of money. But when I when I can get them for a good price, I'm picking them up and I'm going to try to get a complete collection. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool to have a complete Criterion Collection release on DVD and Blu-ray. That'd be amazing. So I don't, I don't have this one yet in my collection. I am, I am definitely picking that one up too. I've actually never seen this movie. So if you guys have seen this, leave comments down below. Any good? I'm assuming it's Criterion. It's, it's got to be good, right? All we need is a Criterion release of Spice World and we'll be set. I am really happy that I'm no longer collecting artwork variations because uh, they have Alice in Wonderland here. Look at this really cool version here with like the, the keyhole. That is so cool. Is this open up or no, that's just, oh wait, I think the cards actually like, can you, can you change the cards? <gasps> you can change the cards. Okay. That is actually really, really awesome and uh, kind of tempting. I mean, I, I've already got it on Blu-ray. Why, why not get the, uh, the fancy Blu-ray release or do I have it in 3D? Is, was this released in 3D? Or was it the other movie that was really, I don't remember. I think I have one of these in 3D, if not both of them, maybe just one of them. Do I have this one in 3D? I have no idea. It, either way, I already have this on Blu-ray. I shouldn't just pick it up because it has cool artwork. I I don't need to go down that road, but I, I like that keyhole thing. That's, that's pretty awesome. So Mike actually has nothing on hold at the moment. There's there's one thing that he's, he's gonna get his hands on eventually, but um, you, you're you picking up, what, what are you grabbing here? Oh, yeah, John's cool. grabbing the great outdoors on Blu-ray. That's awesome. And <gasps> spoiler, He's picking up one other thing, but uh, we actually have to go to like the storage unit to get it. So um, let's let's go get it. Wow, this is uh, quite the adventure and uh, quite the old Goodwill like displays. That's interesting. Goodwill counters and Goodwill signs. That's that's neat. So right now we're like back in the like back storage area of uh, of Fenty's flea market. I had no idea there was like a loading dock here and and all of this stuff back here. This 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 is an adventure. This is the whole part of Fenty's. I had no idea it even existed. There are bathrooms back here apparently. So anyway, the, the big gigantic thing that John has on hold is, is being held back here in Pam's um, secret storage because it's, it's just that big. All right, so we picked up John's um, super secret gigantic item. Look at this brand new 4K TV and LG OLED 55C1 4K. That is pretty awesome. 55 inch, nice. All right. John's doing some upgrading. So what's the first movie you're going to watch on that? The Great Outdoors in 1080p. You're killing me, John. Is that how you want it? You're killing me. You you're, you're, you're killing me. What's a movie, guys? And now comes the real fun where we get to find out if it even fits into his car. We have no idea if this TV's even going to make it in here. Does it? Is it going to, is it going to fit? May, oh, I think that might just barely fit in your car. No, you don't think it's going to? If you... Pivot, pivot. I think I. I honestly think if you, I think if you do tilt it, it might it might actually fit, right? Or no? Come on, you guys can do it. Seven, 17 hours later, we finally get this in the car. 
Sean is literally now performing surgery to the uh, the box. He, he's he's cutting into it, cutting the styrofoam apart because we we can't we can't get it into his, his car. Unfortunately, it's like maybe like an inch too big to fit in the car. We can't get the door shut. So now he's getting styrofoam all over his car, making a huge, gigantic mess. Woo! This, this is why I have a van. Double the C, double the S, and you have kind of success. Sweaty. We, sweaty. Sweaty success. We actually did get it into the car. I mean, well, John got it into the car after performing all that surgery by cutting things apart. So, all right, you got your new 4K TV. You. Fancy, you could have just waited like an extra week and I could have bought my van, you know, right? Would have, would have made this so much easier. Anyway, enjoy your, enjoy your new TV. I will, I will never understand this guy. All right, guys, so I think that's about going to do it for the um, weird, strange adventure here at uh, the Video Game Movie Dome at Fenty's Flea Market. Hey, you got your TV. That's all That's all that really matters. I got a bunch of stuff uh, as well. I, I didn't fill up a bin this time, but I do have more stuff in the bin to come home with me, and Mike's grabbing no. nothing. Next time. Well, what was here yesterday? I got a couple. That's true. What did you pick up yesterday? I forgot. What did I pick I up think yesterday? You said Towering Inferno, right? No, was... no, I didn't. I oh. Like, you got that. Um, I, mean, I forgot. Yeah, what did you pick up? <laughs> <laughs> nobody remember. Apparently, he came here just like 24 hours ago, yeah. picked up a whole bunch of stuff, and nobody remembers what it is. It, it was three, three evenings, It's uh, the three heat. It's, it's getting to us all. But anyway, all right, that's it. We're done. So as always, I'm, I'm going, I need, I need food and a drink. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my, for my new channel, uh, What's With Day Today, where you can see all kinds of co cool, fun adventures. Also check down below for a link to... Some of the balls. And a link below Show to... Awesome also put links down below to Pamela's YouTube channel and to her um, her Facebook page. Again, if you guys are looking for anything at all, hit her up. She does ship. She usually can find whatever you're... I mean, she found me, Weird US, Volume 2, so she can find any, like pretty much anything you're looking for. She, like I always say, she's like the guru of finding cool medium. And again, she does ship, so hit her up. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.